1952 was the beginning of an amazing Bible prophecy of 70 years reign of the Queen. I know that the only way to live my life is to try to do what is right, to take the long view, to give of my best in all that the day brings, and to put my trust in God. Absolutely, there was no other queen who could have fulfilled that prophecy. Isaiah chapter 23 was very clear uh, that there would be uh, a monarch who would rule upon the throne for 70 years. The throne of Tarshish or Tyre, the modern day uh, merchant power, uh, the island power of Great Britain. So Prince Philip was provided by God, no doubt to be alongside and encourage her and uh, help her throughout that reign. Once he uh, passed off the scene after 69 years, another year, and I'm sure that uh, God blessed her to the extent that she was given the opportunity to celebrate that 70 years. There's the 70 marked out by the, uh, uh, the uh, jets in the sky above Buckingham Palace. A fitting tribute to a monarch who served her people so well. And just as the flags were, being, uh, were lowered to half-mast outside the uh, palace at Buckingham uh, Palace and uh, in London and in Windsor Castle just outside of London over came the arch of rainbows with God signifying his approval smiling through the rainbow on the reign of that queen God sets up the rulers, God watches over the rulers and uh, I'm sure he was very very pleased with what took place during the reign of Queen Elizabeth. That's 70 years. Now Isaiah chapter 23 verse 17 says at the end of 70 years, talking about the reign of the 70 years ruler, the monarch on the throne, the Lord will visit Tyre, that is modern day Britain, and she shall return to her higher. She'll become economically successful again. They were in the doldrums during the 70 year reign of the Queen economically after World War II. They were in uh, economic uh, trouble militarily. They were weakened dramatically. They had to be helped by other countries through loans to bring them back to prosperity again. They joined the European Union thinking that was the answer. Found out that it didn't really work for them and so they pulled out of the European Union again and now they are free to trade with, as the Bible says, all the kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth and they're doing that now with trade agreements with Australia, uh, other countries, India uh, because there's now an, an, Indian, uh, um, an Indian descent Prime Minister who's very close now with the uh, President, Prime Minister of India and trade agreements are happening the Trans-Pacific Partnership that they couldn't join before, uh, an economic group over in our area, uh, they've uh, joined and that will bring great prosperity as the Bible says. And the next thing we're told is in Isaiah 23 verse 18, the same chapter that says there'll be a 70 year reign of one monarch, then after she passes off the scene, Britain will become more and more prosperous. Not prosperous enough to overcome Russia mind you, but prosperous enough 
to stand against Russia verbally, and perhaps to some degree militarily, but mainly uh, there's certainly not much chance of them defeating this huge army that will come into the Middle East. But beyond that, when God starts to uh, develop his nation through the Lord Jesus Christ, his kingdom around the world, Britain will become a very favoured nation. Israel the first nation, but Britain a favoured nation because they will submit to the Lord Jesus Christ. And they will pledge their ongoing national surplus, says verse 18, uh, to the work of the Lord Jesus Christ in the kingdom. We read there in the bottom in the red, her merchandise, her hire shall be holiness to the Lord. This is the country of Britain. It will not be treasured or laid up. They won't keep it for themselves. Her merchandise shall be for them that dwell before the Lord, that is the Lord Jesus Christ in Jerusalem, for food and clothing, the great basic necessities of life in abundance supplied by Britain to the kingdom. So in the final moments of the pageant, we see the future of the monarchy. Who is going to, as the Bible tells us, Psalm 72, lay their crowns from the country of Britain at the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ when he returns. So he will be King of Kings and Lord of Lords.